Hi, I wanted to post a second update as to my solar heater. I have 200 feet of uh, irrigation tubing in here. I wasn't able to really align them properly, but I think there's a lot of heat getting in there. Right? I used I my original video had corrugated plastic cover, and I ended up removing it because it didn't. It left a lot of gaps on the edges, and I had to find a way to fill it. So I just removed it. And I ended up getting PETG. It's a polycarbonate material. It was about $30. And I bought it online. I'll put a link in the, um, down in the description. <clears throat> so I purchased that. And I got some uh, ins uh, insulation. The one that comes in the tube. In the um, can. And I sprayed it. To fill in all the holes but it didn't do a very good job because as you can see it's lifting up here but it does seem I think it does work and I just anchor down the cover the plastic with some screws over here I also used purchased a solar panel this is the model number never heard of them before but I found some reviews on Amazon and they decided to try them all right so this solar panel is what drives the pump now, let me show you how that works. So as you can see, I bought some fittings here to mate it to the hose, a hose remnant. And I purchased, I think it was 15 feet. And I bought two of them. So one comes from the pump into the solar heater and one comes out. All right, I made a temporary opening here of my screen. So I could get the hoses in and I just tied everything up with tie wraps. And let me show you what it, my hair looks like. So this is the pump that I purchased. Alright, it's a DC pump, 20, 12 volts or 24 volts. And the solar panel runs this. And this is the hot water that's coming out. Right, the pool water is colder and this is warmer. Right, I would say probably about four or five degrees warmer. This hose should actually go down inside the pool because hot water rises. Right now, where the way it's falling, it's just heating, keeping the hot water on the surface. Right, so this hose should actually go down. But I have a skimmer in the pool and I don't want it to tangle up with the hose. So for the time being, I left the hose on the top. And I put a weight to prevent the hose from falling out because if it falls out, it's going to end up siphoning out water from the pool. And the pump will run dry and that will be the end of the pump. So the way this runs right now is that the solar panel runs the pump in the day, which is what you want. And it automatically just stops running in the evening when there's no more heat to heat the solar panel, the solar heater. So it works in tandem together and it I think it does an okay job. I probably have, this is a 12 foot circular pool and I think it has like five or six thousand gallons and it's hard for me to really say how much of a difference this makes but I think it does because there is warmer water coming out of here than in here. I can feel it. So there must be a difference, probably a three or four degrees and um, I hope this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions, like, share and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions down below.